Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm here to talk about GAPS Diet Juicing. So juicing is a very important part of the GAPS Diet protocol because as you may know, the GAPS diet accomplishes a few different things. Healing and sealing leaky gut, detoxifying, as well as restoring that balance of friendly bacteria and reducing the balance of the pathogenic and opportunistic flora in the gut. Juicing comes in in the detoxification part. Juicing is a very gentle and effective way of detoxifying lots of different toxins out of our body. When I was going through the GAPS diet, I definitely did a lot of juicing and I think that's one of the things that really helped me heal and detoxify and do well as far as my getting my health back. So I definitely highly recommend it. When you do juicing on the GAPS diet, it's a very specific way that you introduce it. If you're going through the introduction stages, you introduce vegetable juices in stage four and then fruit juices in stage five. Since most people doing the GAPS diet are not very well, you wanna go slowly and carefully and gradually when you start juicing. You don't wanna overdo it because you might cause too much die off because that's uncomfortable. You might have heard of a lot of different things like blending, green smoothies and different things like that. The GAPS diet chooses juicing for detoxification because juicing removes the fiber and makes the nutrients in the vegetables or fruits very easily available and easily assimilated by the body. So it's a very quick source of nutrition and it really helps the body get toxins out of the body. So when you're ready to juice on the GAPS diet, you'll need a good juicer. And I'd like to show you the one that I use. I've had this one for, I think it's been 10 years now. So it's kind of a workhorse. It's been used a ton. I really like it. It's simple, easy to put together, easy to use, easy to clean. And the price is affordable too. I'm gonna put a link below to where you can find this exact one, but I do highly recommend this one. It's the Breville Juice Fountain. There are several different other kinds of juicers available and they're probably all pretty good. I just like this one because it's easy to use, easy to clean and fairly affordable. If you don't have a juicer, you're not able to get one, but you have a blender, you can make it work in a blender too. So you can just blend up whatever vegetables or fruits you're using and then press that mixture through a very fine strainer or like a cheese bag or a nut bag or something like that to get just the filtered juice out. So that would work in a pinch. Now let's talk for a little bit about what to juice. So Dr. Natasha recommends starting with just carrot juice. She recommends starting with just a few spoonfuls and you can dilute it in some warm water or you can mix it in with some yogurt. We'll talk a little bit more about recipes that you can make with the fresh juices a little bit later. But carrots are what you start with and my favorite blend once you start adding some more vegetables into that is carrots, celery, and a little bit of beet. You wanna be careful with the beet to not go overboard because beets are powerful cleansers and you don't wanna overdo it. And then later on, once you're to the stage where you can add some fruits into the juice, I like adding apples. Dr. Natasha recommends keeping the therapeutic vegetable portion pretty high and then just adding some fruit in there as well. You don't want it to be mostly fruit. Dr. Natasha recommends drinking the freshly pressed juices on an empty stomach. So first thing in the morning and the middle of the afternoon are both good times. Now let's talk about my favorite thing to make with the juices that I used as like a early breakfast for a long time while I was doing the GAPS diet. So I would take my blend of my favorite things, so carrot, celery, a little bit of beet, and some apple, juice that, and then I would add a few big dollops of homemade raw milk kefir fermented sour cream from pasture-fed cows, and then I would add a couple raw egg yolks from organic pasture-raised hens. I would whip that all up together with an, actually an immersion blender is what I used. So really nice and blended, blend that up really well. And then that was the start to my breakfast. And it's so nourishing. Egg yolks are actually gently detoxifying as well. And then the sour cream adds healthy fats so that your blood sugar is balanced from the sweetness of the, some of the carrot and the apple in the juice. And then is the kefir sour cream also provides some really good probiotics too. 
So that's definitely a wonderful thing to do. Dr. Natasha calls that the GAPS milkshake. Another thing that you can do with your freshly pressed juices is to make what she calls a gap smoothie, and it's similar. You do your juices, and then you add some avocado to it and some egg yolks and whiz that up with an immersion blender, and that's a delicious thing to make also. So again, healthy fats, some egg yolks in there, and your nice juices. A question that people often ask is, is carrot juice helpful for leaky gut? And the answer is yes, it's not actually doing the work of healing the gut like the meat stock is, but it's gently detoxifying, which is an important part of the GAPS diet protocol because when our gut is unhealthy and our detoxification system is not working correctly, we're not able to detox as we should. So once we get that gut working, the gut lining starting to be healed, the detoxification can start working again, and then the juices are a really good, gentle way to help that along. So that's where it comes in. I also wanted to share with you guys this book that I recently got. It is written by Becky Plotner. She's one of the instructors for the training for certified GAPS practitioners and certified GAPS coaches. And so I found all about her in this book in my training to become a certified GAPS coach. I highly recommend it. It's not a replacement for the yellow GAPS diet book at all. You definitely wanna read this first, but it's a very, I wanna say almost necessary complement to it because it fills in all the gaps of information, gaps <laughs> of information that you might be left with after reading the yellow book. It has so many more recipes, answers so many common questions. It's a wealth of knowledge and I highly recommend it. I'll put a link below where you can grab a copy of this book too. It's called Gaps Stage by Stage with Recipes by Becky Plotner. Okay, so now after we've gone over all the information and things that you need to know, let's go ahead and show you just how I juice in this. I'm gonna do some carrot juice. So I'm going to start by just chopping a little bit of the upper end of the carrots off. I like to just remove that little stem end, especially if they're ones that have been kind of sitting in the refrigerator for a little while. So I'm just gonna take that off. You'll see juicing is really simple. You don't have to be overwhelmed by it. It's something you can easily work into your routine. You wanna make sure that your juicer is put together properly and ready to go. This one is really easy to put together. It has this bottom portion. This is the actual part that does the chopping and getting the juice out, grinding, shredding, whatever you wanna call it. And there's this top portion that attaches on like that and this to push them in. And this little cup, it has kind of a nice lid that will help keep the foam out when you're pouring it when the juice is done. So once it's all secure, ready to go, we turn it on. There we go, and then we have our nice carrot juice, fresh and full of all those great nutrients, ready to go. Pour it into a glass container, which I prefer over plastic, and it's ready to go. So definitely don't, if you're just starting with juicing, don't down this whole entire pint in one go. Remember, she said to start off with just a few spoonfuls diluted with some water or mixed with yogurt and gradually, slowly work your way up, eventually adding some more things like celery and a little bit of beet. There are other vegetable ideas that she recommends in her book too, but those are a really good place to start. And like I said, I definitely recommend the GAPS milkshake with the sour cream and the egg yolks. I think that's the very best way to do juicing personally. As far as the leftover parts, you once you're on a part in the GAPS diet like the full GAPS diet or wherever, you are not worried about fiber being in your diet anymore. You can reuse this orange pulp from juicing the carrots. My favorite thing to do with it was to make some GAPS legal baked goods like some muffins and then um, add this into them so it would be like carrot muffins. Add a little bit of cinnamon, maybe some raisins depending on where you're at. And that was a really delicious thing to to do with it. Otherwise, you can like compost it. Uh, we have chickens, so they might wanna eat it, but 
I always try to look for ways to repurpose things so that nothing's going to waste. So leave me a comment below and let me know, have you ever done juicing and what are your favorite things to juice if you have tried it? If you have any suggestions or ideas for videos that you'd like me to make, leave me a comment below and let me know what they are. If you don't already know, I have lots of other GAPS diet videos on my channel. I'll link some of those below, so definitely check those out. And like I mentioned, I'll have this same exact juicer linked below as well as this book and this book if you need to get a copy of that and this one that I highly recommend. There'll be links below where you can grab those things as well as a place where I like to buy organic groceries and pantry staple items. I'll have a link below also to my blog post where there's a full written article all about GAPS diet juicing. And then also over on my blog, if you don't already know, I have a member exclusive password protected subscriber library. I have a bunch of free eBooks and checklists and printables over there. There is a GAPS diet essential recipes eBook as well as a GAPS diet checklist for getting your kitchen ready to do the GAPS diet and a printable thing you can hang on your refrigerator that tells you what to eat and which intro stages. So there'll be a link below where you can get access to that library. Okay, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think might wanna learn about juicing for the GAPS diet. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes or nutrient dense food, natural remedies and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.